Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, Tony and DJ, he's our manager at the Westfield. We're gonna do a quick versus video today, the E-Tech 5 versus the G-Tech. All right guys, how this is gonna go, we're gonna just kind of banter back and forth. I'm gonna make a point about this E-Tech. He's gonna make a point about this G-Tech. Back and forth, and then in the comments below, after we're done with the video, please post what you thought and what gun you would rather shoot, the E-Tech 5 or the G-Tech. So here we go. So first off, I've always been a uh, poppet kind of guy. I do like spool valve guns, don't get me wrong, but I just feel the poppet shoots a little bit straighter in my opinion. Uh, what do you think? Uh, I like how the poppet shoots. They shoot nice, but the softness of it, of the spool valves are just for me, more for me. You're talking the actual shot of the gun? The actual shot feels? quality okay, okay. Is, is higher on that, I think. Um, they both shoot really well, but if I have to choose between a spool valve and that, the softer shot usually does it. So do you think in me saying that a, a, a poppet valve shoots a little bit straighter, more like an autococker, is a far-fetched statement, or? Mm, no, it does, they do shoot good. They, they without a doubt, shoot straight. I don't think they shoot any straighter than a G-Tech Okay, has. so you're basically you're saying that this gun can shoot just as straight as straight with as, that gun. Right, exactly. Okay, fair enough. All right, so for the spool valves, one thing is we just went over. It's a little bit smoother, in my opinion, my feel. Um, also, the, the sound signatures on spool valves tend to be a little bit lower than what you get on a poppet. Poppet has more of a poppy sound where your spool valve is a lot less sharp of a sound. Uh, yeah, I could probably agree with that, honestly. I can't knock that. I think uh, spool valve is a little bit quieter just due to the nature of how the gun operates. Um, Okay, I could I can take that one as a as a, as a plus for the G Tech. It's probably going to be a little bit quieter, not by much, but maybe a little bit. I'm going to say now it's my turn for a point. Is the maintenance factor on a on a uh, poppet is going to be super simple. Obviously, on this one, pull, pulls up, pops out, a couple drops of oil on your rammer, and that's it. Yeah, that's... with your gun, you got to lube every O ring, take the. Pull that can on. It is a little bit harder on the spool valves, and you have to maintain them a little bit more than what you're going to do on a poppet. But um, it is pretty simple still on these. You take the pin, the core apart, put a tab of grease on each of the O-rings. How many O-rings do you think you have there? Uh, probably. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have two or three. No, so we've got, got probably ten. Yeah, yeah. Ten so. O-rings on there. That So it's going to take a little bit longer. Um and you probably have to do it a little bit more often, what you're going to do on that. Mm -hmm. But uh, for me, you don't it's mind worth it. I don't mind doing it. I, I, go, I clean my guns after every day I play anyway. So for me, it doesn't matter whether I sit at home and put a few drops of oil, or I take two, three more minutes and put grease on it. Fair enough. Or lube on it. So it's all the same. What you got next? Next, I just like the feel of the single tube. The stack tube, okay. for me, when I, I, I shoot around the top, so if you shoot like that, maybe it's not a difference, but for me, over the top is how I shoot. So it's more comfortable with the single tube as opposed to the spec. Yeah, these ones are a little bit bulkier. Some guys with like bigger hands, not saying you have small hands, but um, you've got more to hold on to with, with this one, in my opinion. Like you said, this is just a single stack tube. It's a lot skinnier than the C-Tech 5, but to each their own, that's why we're asking you guys, what do you think? Put it in the comments below. Uh, E-Tech 5, G-Tech, Spool versus Poppet. What do you guys think? Um, okay, I can deal with that one. Yeah, your gun's definitely skinnier than mine. Um, other than what we've gone over so far, the maintenance and how big the gun is and how smooth it shoots, other than that, these guns are the exact same. The grip frames, the on-off ASAs, the feed necks, the barrel. Um, so, no, I mean... They're both great guns, don't get me wrong. What do you think? Uh, exactly, they're really close. You're gonna lose probably a little bit on efficiency with the spool valve over what the uh, E-Tech's gonna get, but, you know, so it's each your own. If you're shooting 20 pods and you think you're gonna need a gun that does that, it's true. it might make a difference. Um, it's all your style um, of play, right? right? If you're a woods baller or if you're shooting, you know, a, a MAGFET style guy that only one at a time, you're very conservative with your paint then it really doesn't matter. Yep. But if you're gonna go out there and shoot a ton of pods, you might wanna shoot a uh, poppet, just cause it's gonna be a little bit more efficient, not by much, probably can almost guarantee that. Yeah, yeah so. they're not, the, the other models are on par with the LV-1 to the 
the uh, 160R, GTEC, they're all real yeah. close on their numbers. Planet Eclipse makes super efficient uh, guns and uh, they're awesome. So check them out. Um, we've made a couple good points on uh, the smoothness of the gun, the sound signature of the gun, the uh, maintenance of the gun, and how the gun actually projects the paintball. So four or five good points on differences between the two, but other than that, they're both great markers. Uh, they're available at our pro shop, or give us a call at 1-800-875-WOLF. Both of these guns retail at 549, so they're the exact same price point. Once again, personal preference, please put it in the comments below. Uh, thanks for watching. Give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Yeah, and thank you uh, once again, DJ. He's our manager out at our Metamora West location. Good guy. He knows a little bit about paintball. <laughs> thanks, guys.